We're also following developments out of South Florida tonight. We're now on the seventh day of search and rescue efforts after the condo collapse in Surfside. Investigators say they've pulled 16 bodies from the rubble. 147 people are still missing. 139 people have been accounted for. Crews have removed about 3 million pounds of concrete. More than 50 agencies and 900 crew members are on site. President Biden and the First Lady are heading to Surfside tomorrow to meet with families and first responders. And like many disasters or catastrophes, among those impacted by this tragedy are children. There are specially trained volunteers on site to help children cope with this trauma. Our Liz Crawford talked to one of those volunteers. Helping kids is a life calling for Aaron Silber. I work at a local um, children's hospital in Tampa. And so my heart belongs to working with children and making a difference. She's been a volunteer with Children's Disaster Services for five years now. I responded to the Pulse nightclub shooting, um, the Paradise California wildfires um, where we were stationed out in Chico, um, floods in Louisiana years back. And so this was my fourth. She's back in Tampa after spending time in Surfside helping children impacted by the tragedy. We set up a play space for the children to express themselves through play. Um, after a trauma or any type of traumatic event, um, they a lot of times don't want to talk about it or they're too young to have the vocabulary to talk about it. Adding touches of comfort amid the chaos. They're already in a heightened state, so it's really important to be just that calming presence there with them. The organization brought in long-term volunteers with even more training for mass casualty events and childhood grief. If you're looking for ways that you can help, there are several organizations and charities collecting donations. Text the word GIVE to 727-577-8522 and we'll text you back with a link with verified organizations so you can make a donation.